morning friends and welcome back to another weekly lunch video it's kind of disheveled here on my counter but the boys have the same thing so I'm just gonna run through it if you are new here welcome my name is Sue hit that subscribe button before you go we love to have you as part of our channel here family on our channel here I should say and thank you for all you guys that keep coming back and watching Mo um, for a little bit of a breakdown, we have a fifth grader and a kindergartner. And I packed in the same thing because if I don't, then the little one gets a little jealous and all that jazz. So you got to pick your battles. You know what I'm saying? So if this is what he wants, this is what he gets, unless he asks me for something else, um, we usually do the same. So we are taking um, one of these fruit shooters. My kids really like this sparkling. It's like a sparkling water. Well duh, it says sparkling right there. It's the strawberry and raspberry. They do have a tropical punch. Uh, I have not been able to find it yet. Um, I have found it before at my store but I haven't found it in the last few weeks. So we're still working on the strawberry raspberry ones which are good. Um, we just have a couple ham and cheese sliders here on sweet Hawaiian rolls. We got some apples of course in there. And these are like the pre-sliced kind that you get in the package in the deli at like Walmart. Um, I find that it's just easier and more time saving to get these apples than putting lemon juice on apples or sending in a whole apple, which I have done from time to time. Um, but for convenience reasons, this week I just picked up these apples because all the other fruit at Walmart looked like crap. So we just went with apples this week. That is Liam's little water jug. I don't know where Jax is. He must have left it at school. Um, we have some cheese puffs, Cheeto puffs, a Go-Gurt, a string cheese, and then these little mini rainbow cookies. And again, Jack has the exact same thing. Um, his bag of Cheetos puffs is like busting open. Um, so I gave him the bigger bag. Of course, he's got apples, cookies, string cheese, and Go-Gurt. And this is what we're taking for lunch today. It's Monday. Um, we will see you guys after school. Good evening, friends. Welcome back to what my kids ate for lunch today. Um, it looks as though Jack ate everything. He only ate about half of these cheese puffs, which I'm not surprised. I did pack quite a bit. <coughs> Liam only ate one of his little sandwiches, um, and he ate a few of his apples, but there are still plenty in there. Let's look and see if they are still good. This is what my kid does to his apples. He doesn't like the peel, so he eats them like that and throws them back in there. But these look okay, but because they've been, like you can see a little bit on the edge, since they've been in his lunchbox all day and it is now like 7 o'clock at night, um, I'm going to go ahead and pitch those. Normally, if I catch it in time, there might be saveable if I catch it right after school. But your girl didn't get off work until like 5 o'clock, after 5 o'clock tonight. So by the time I got them fed into Boy Scouts, this is where I'm at in my game. Okay, so this is what they ate for Monday's lunch. We will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, friends, and welcome back to Tuesday morning. We are having a little bit of a stressful morning as my kids are getting ready for school and not wanting to. My five-year-old decided that he wants to know why does he has to go to school for five days out of the week and only get off for two days. And I said, I feel that same way about working, son. I feel that same way. I said, but you got a long time to go. And so you're just going to have to suck it up and deal with it like I have for all of my life. Um, anyway, guys, so we are back. There is a variety of things before us. And that is because this is what my kids asked for. And I'm one of those moms that will give my kids what they ask for, what I know they're going to eat, so that I know when they're at school they're eating um, at least lunch. So, you know, I'm one of those people. My kids are very active. They can put just about anything into their bodies and burn it off, and I'm okay with that. I know some mamas out there are not excited about um, this type of lunch, but, you know, to each their own. You can feed your kids how you want to feed them, and I'll feed my kids the way that I 
want to feed them um you know i like ki kids to be kids i don't you know i'm one of those mamas who just want my kids to be kids there's nothing serious about having a uncrustable with some string cheese and some nutella pretzels i mean it is live be a kid there's life is way too short for you guys to be like growing up at six and ten years old like that will come to you soon enough i promise you can be a kid until then okay so we are going to be doing gatorade today i bought these little uh nutella pretzels to go um this is probably going to be what my kids eat first because i know my children and they love that stuff um i'm sending one of these tiny little danimal go-gurts yogurts whatever I have a whole bunch of those. We got a granola bar back there. That's the chocolate one. Some string cheese and Uncrustable. These are my last two Uncrustables, so I'm gonna have to get some more. My kids absolutely love these in their lunch boxes. Quick and easy. My kids only get 20 minutes to eat lunch. 20 minutes. Do your kids get 20 minutes or do they get a little bit longer? I mean, I can understand that for maybe the fifth grader, but for the kindergartner, I think that they should get a little bit more time than that. So I tend to pack things that are quick and easy that they can pick and choose what they want what they don't want to eat they don't have to i'm not one of those moms that want you to clean your plate i want you to eat until you're until you're full and then i don't want you to overdo it so that's how i roll we got some grapes here and then the big guy up here i might add i think i'm going to add like some cheez it's or some chips or something to his because he has football tomorrow football practice tomorrow after school and I want to make sure he gets enough calories in um, especially he's a growing boy he's a growing boy so he has the same thing I think I will add some Cheez-Its or some chips or something to his just in case sometimes they leave their granola bars until after school and I'm totally okay with that but just in case this isn't enough for the big guy I'm gonna add a little something something if you know what I mean all right guys <coughs> I don't know why I'm all chatty this morning uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and we will see you guys after school. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Tuesday afternoon. Can you guys see that right there? Look. Like, is that necessary? And this lunchbox belongs to the older one, okay? Like, I don't understand why that happens to the kid that's bigger. And the kid that's smaller is okay maybe it's because he didn't eat this but normally as a rule jack's lunchbox is way messier than liam's okay so jack ate everything except for this uh, granola bar which is fine this is empty he just left this in here hence the reason why there's stuff all over the place and we got a nasty spoon and Liam ate everything except for he probably you know ate three-fourths of his grapes in here he drank almost all of his Gatorade and he left this in here which is no longer any good but that's okay I think for Liam the better way to go when it comes to yogurt is the go-gurts instead of these so I'll probably start putting these in jacks and leaving the go-gurts for Liam we'll see I don't know he did have quite a bit so that could be the reason as well um, I'm really surprised that he chose to eat his granola bar no I didn't pack him a granola bar did I Yes, I did. I did pack him a granola bar. And I'm surprised he ate that over yogurt because Liam loves eating yogurt. Um, but it did have chocolate in it, so that could be the reason why. Anyway, guys, we will see you for tomorrow's lunch. It's Wednesday. Good morning, friends. Welcome to Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. Actually, we're more than halfway through the week because it is the week of Labor Day. So we don't have school on Friday or Monday. So we only have today and tomorrow to go. We are more than halfway there. Obviously, it's Wednesday. Am I right? Yeah. So, this is what we're bringing the kids for lunch today. We have another one of these uh, sparkling hydro waters, of course. <coughs> 
and we're taking a chocolate snack pack just give me a snack pack um, we're gonna have some apples in here we have a ham and cheese and roast beef sandwich I did try to put some mayonnaise in between two pieces of meat we'll see if their bread gets soggy I really hope not um, we got a gogurt we got some cheez its and just in case we have a tobacco with this sandwich here we are taking a granola bar just in case um liam's got his crust taken off because he doesn't like the crust and if i leave it up to him then he'll just eat the center of the sandwich like you know a half dollar size of it and then he'll throw the rest the rest away if i cut it off for him he will eat all of that um, my kids are very very much sandwich eaters um, they love sandwiches they almost prefer eating sandwiches over mcdonald's they'd rather go to subway than mcdonald's i know they're weird i don't know what to tell you um, we have the same over here with the crust on, apples, uh, gogurt, the same stuff. The Cheez-Its, the snack pack, and the granola bar, as well as the same drink. They, of course, both will take their water bottles. I did get Jack's water bottle back um, from school today, so that's real exciting. And um, that is what we're having that's what we're having for lunch today we will see you guys this afternoon afternoon friends it is Wednesday after school if I feel like it's really dark in here today I don't know maybe it's just me because I was just outside I don't know anyway it looks like Jack ate everything but his apples what a slacker. He might have eaten like two of those or three. Everything else is gone. Liam over here made a hot mess in his lunchbox. These Cheez-Its were left and they are all smashed up. So I'm not even going to save those. Um, and it looks like he ate everything. Um, he did a better job on his apples. Although I think I told you guys that he does this jazz to his apples where he eats like the all of it but the peel and leaves the peel in there like a chickmunk um so he did a better job on eating his apples but he did not eat these cheeses and they're all smashed up now from being in his backpack so that is what my boys ate not bad not bad we will see you guys tomorrow Hey y'all, welcome back to Thursday's lunch. It is the last day of the week for us this week as Friday we have no school because it's Memorial, no Labor Day weekend. So we are just going to show you what I'm taking for lunch. And I packed a little bit more than normal because we do have football tonight and I want to make sure we have enough snacks and things if they need it after school as well. Um, Gatorade? I got these sun chips for Liam. Actually, both of the boys have sun chips. They both have a go-gurt. Um, they both have one of these little berries and cherry fruit gummies. This um, I'm sending for Liam. This came out of our variety fun box. If you're interested in a snack subscription box, I will have the link to that information in the description bar below. Um, and Jack picked out grandma's cookies. And then we have just some apples. These are the last of our apples, so I'm going to go ahead and send them. Even though they didn't eat all of them yesterday, um, they're just going to go bad anyway, so I'm just going to send them and hopefully they'll eat them. And then we just have a homemade Lunchable. This is pepperoni slices and just little cheeses I cut into circles, regular craft singles or whatever those are called and then we got these round crackers i'm only sending liam with six and jack with ten because he's going to eat more than liam will obviously um and that is what we're having for thursday's lunch and that does it for this week's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you are new here please hit that subscribe button that like button and leave me a comment in the description bar below let me know what you're taking or sending your kids for lunch during the week and we will catch you guys next week for another back to school lunch. Bye.